Welcome to Ham Radio Networking, and in this three-part series, we're going to install All Star Link and configure it for our node. Uh, in the next video, we're going to configure All Mon 3 and Echo Link and dive into a little bit of personal preference settings. And then on our last video, we're going to install DB Switch and Dynamic Talker, or you can do Static if you want. We're also going to install a nice program that allows you to easily change the mode and talk group straight from your browser with a nice interface. In this video, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to install Debian 12 into Raspberry Pi, and then we're going to install All Star Link 3 on top of that and configure our All Star Link 3 node. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the Raspberry Pi Imager. Okay, so this is our Raspberry Pi Imager. You just hit the link and it downloads it and you run it. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to select your Raspberry Pi device that you want to use. So I have the OS, hit other, and then you're going to click on um, the light 64-bit. And then you're going to hit the additional settings. So you're going to select your SD card, hit next. Edit your settings. You want to create a username and password. And then you're going to make sure SSH is enabled. So after that, you flash it and then you put it into your Raspberry Pi. Then you go to your Windows terminal and type in SSH, the username you used, at IP address. This is much better than using PuTTY. I hate PuTTY. So right now I'm SSH into my node. So we're going to start um, by installing All Sterling 3. I want to update and upgrade my Raspberry Pi uh, image. Make sure all the packages and stuff are up to date. This will take a second. Okay, so now we have upgraded our Raspberry Pi repositories. Let's go ahead and install All Star Link 3. So we're going to copy these commands. See if they work all at once. If they don't, that's fine. Oh, I believe it's all working. So uh, I recommend just uh, using the commands one by one. So we're going to go ahead and wait for All Star Link 3 to be installed. You just run those commands. By the way, I'll have this lovely read me um, for all star link instructions and db switch uh, in the description of the video so you can follow along with this because i have had people say oh you go too fast you do this you do that please have documentation well here's the documentation all the way from the start of installing all star link all the way to configuring simple usb settings all mon 3 echo link and db switch as well so it'll it has everything Okay, all Starling 3 is installed. Let's go ahead and configure it. So once you have all Starling 3 installed, go ahead and run the command ASL menu. This will bring up the all Starling menu. It's very large here because I enlarged my screen. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to configure our nodes. So we're going to have node settings, all star node setup menu, and go ahead and put in your node number. I want to put in my password. Don't even try, I'm changing my password. I actually changed it back to 123456 just for this video, but that's not my password. We're going to go ahead and select Hotspot Half Duplex with Courtesy Tones. We're going to hit Simple USB. We're going to enter our call sign. And we're going to restart asterisk. Super easy and simple. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back to this menu later, but we have to change our simple USB settings first. So we're going to hit exit menu. Now we're going to go to node setup and update our node. We're going to make sure all this is correct. All of this looks good. So we're going to go ahead and hit back. Back until you see expert configuration menu option six. We're going to hit that. And then we're going to edit our um, Simply USB settings.com file. We're going to use nano since that's the easiest one to use. And we're going to go ahead and change our settings. So in here, we are going to pretty much paste our tune settings. So in here, I have the tune settings right here. You're going to go ahead and copy all of those. I want to paste them right there. So this is on our node main. So you'll have those settings that you did, and then you'll have your ASL3 tune settings. Make sure it looks exactly like this. So there we go. Now I want to remove all of these. 
So you're just gonna have to hit backspace on this and remove all of them. It's a pain in the butt, but you just have to do it. So we'll uh, go ahead and remove all these lines. So you wanna remove all these lines and then we're going to uh, replace them with the lines that we just did below. Okay, so we removed all those lines and now we're gonna add in to our node main. Okay, and under general, we're gonna go ahead and paste those here as well. Hello, control X, restart asterisk. And then what we're gonna do after that. For some reason, sometimes I just need to reboot after this, um, just to get those USB settings in there for some reason. Because uh, when I was trying to run it, I didn't reboot it. It would not. It would say that USB was there, but it wouldn't work. So what I did is I reboot, and it fixed the issue. So go ahead and just reboot. It takes 30 seconds. Okay, well, we're back SSH'd. We've done reboot, and let's go ahead and see if our node works or not. So I'll, I already have my node set up on 446.000 megahertz. So let's see if it works. And right there, I heard the cure chunk, so we're good. So now we're going to go ahead and go back to that menu I said we were going to look at. So go into your node number, uh, in your node configuration, and then hit interface tune CLI. Go ahead and set your RX voice level. So then we're going to go ahead and transmit, and we're going to aim for our voice to, on average, hit that V3 kilohertz marker. Kilo zero November November kilo testing, and you can see it did not on average hit it up there. So we're going to go ahead and hit 700. That seems to be a good number for me. Kilo zero November November kilo testing, and there we go. I'm actually just going to do uh, 720, and then I know that's going to be good. And we just hit enter until we go back here. So we have our RX voice level set. So now we're going to select our transmit level. I like to set mine higher. You might want to do a parrot or something. Um, but I like to set mine to 650 for A and B. But you will, you can change that how you like. If it's too high, then it'll be over modulated and just really weird. Just want to hit W to write these changes and zero to exit the menu. So we're going to go back, back, until we see our main menu. So it has entered the asterisk CLI. We're going to do that. And so here you can go ahead and run commands to connect to nodes. So how the structure works is what you do is you do RPT space FUN. Then you put in your node number, in my case 58074. After that, you're going to do star 3. Star 3 is connect, star 1 is disconnect. We're connecting to a parrot node. So star three, five, 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 three. This has us connect to the parrot node to see what our audio level sounds like. And we see that it's working. Node five, 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 three, connected to node. Five, so if it eight, says connection failed, then you might have an issue with your node. So you might want to troubleshoot that, or you might try to connect to another node um, and troubleshoot it further. Maybe your password's incorrect. So we're going to go ahead and do an echo test. Kilo zero November November kilo doing an echo test. Audio level is just about right. Kilo zero November November kilo doing an echo test. He said the audio level's all right, then that means we're good to go. I like all, everyone's audio levels to be perfect because when someone comes on there and it's super loud, it's very annoying. So we're going to actually go ahead and disconnect really quickly. And that was another dude. That was odd. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and disconnect. So now we've disconnected. At this point, we have all star link configured and you can start using your all star node. Now this isn't perfect in my opinion. I want to want all one three installed. 
So right here you have an, a working all-star node that works perfectly fine that you can do a bunch of stuff with. In our part two video, we're going to go ahead and install a nice dashboard so we can connect and disconnect stations there. And we're also going to configure Echolink. So thank you for watching this video. Appreciate it. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on part two.